Okay, so we are moving into polishing her up. So I don't need any of this stuff anymore, okay? I've got a little bit of a couple mixes of um, my, what do we call it, Graftobian. Graftobian um, concealer palette. Um, I mixed a couple colors to make something somewhat close. Um, I don't want to get too heavy on her. I do tend to be a little bit um, heavy handed with concealer products. That's just kind of a personal issue of my own, but um, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a brow specialist, so sometimes I'm a little heavy handed on products, but uh, I try to be very subtle with people um, post wax. I want them to look and feel about as natural as possible. Um, and some makeup is needed in order to um, kind of hide some of the pinkness in their skin. I always like to imagine that my client is going to um, brunch with their girlfriends after this or something. I mean, truth of the matter is, is she's probably going straight home. But um, if she were to stop somewhere and run into, I don't know, an ex... I'd be like, oh, I want her to look really, I want her to feel confident and not feel like, like I said, if she is going to like brunch with her girlfriends, that, that her girlfriends are sitting, staring at her brows going, oh my God, those are so great. Versus like, woof, those are, boy, you must've just got waxed. You look bright red, right? Like all of that. And then... I will kind of grab like a dry piece of gauze and help um, give it just a little bit of a blend up to her forehead where she's not waxed. Can look kind of nice to give them a little crisp border around, especially if you are really new to doing henna. And I mean, I'm not asking you to do smoke and mirrors or I'm not suggesting that you should do smoke and mirrors, but um, you know, the only way that you're going to get better is by continuing to provide the service. So I would suggest to you to get really good at marketing your, um, your images. And if you need to use a little bit of, of concealer to help you achieve those clean lines while you're getting good and kind of mastering um, henna, I say do it, dude. Just do it. And it's gonna help you kind of, you know, start feeling the lines of her face too and just start getting even more and more used to that. Um, that muscle memory. This is just a dry two by two. I do feel like we smudged a little bit of it up into the top of her brow there. So we're just gonna lighten that. And I do have some clients that don't prefer how deep the inside of her brows are right now. Um, and they would probably ask me to fade those a little bit. If I was gonna do that, um, I might just um, wipe it down um, with a wet gauze or I might take a lip applicator and throw some oil on it and just soften it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use some of Natalia's um, champagne brow highlighter. I also um, use Kelly Baker's brow highlighters. I do like um, Natalia's when I want a much more subtle, um, just sparkle. Hopefully you're seeing that. So the brush that I'm using right now is a Kelly Baker brush. It's very similar to the brush that Natalia sells with her um, mapping paste, but it's caked in mapping paste right now. So I'm gonna use Kelly Baker's for the highlighter portion, which is what I'm used to using. When I use this highlighter, when I use a highlighter on myself, I tend to use a different brush, but when I'm using it on clients, I like this one. But I am kind of using the brow highlighter very similar to the way that I do outline my clients. Again, it's all just kind of creating that muscle memory 
Um, and the more that I do something, the better that I get at it. So might as well, right? That came off a little thick and that's okay. Like I said, I'm, you know, I'm one of those people that's like more is better. And I kind of think Laura is too, based on how deep she likes her brows. I'm just kind of blending this down now a little bit. And if I were to have bumped any in side her brow, I would take my round filbert and just kind of clean it out. You know, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, so some of this stuff feels a little heavy handed compared to um, definitely like in the way that Kelly Baker uses her highlighters and that, um, the way that Natalia uses it are a lot more light handed. Um, I don't feel the need to apologize for it. I just uh, point it out because we're all different. We all have a little bit of a different touch. And even if I do maybe have a little bit more of a heavy hand than some, my clients still come back, you know, so I can't get rid of Laura if I paid her to. I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, last step is going to be a clear brow gel. I like Natalia's. It's the one that I tend to keep on hand. Um, Kelly Baker has one that's amazing. Um, another one that I have on hand as well is the ones that Kelly Rohde sells on Panoply Beauty. So you can see I've used a much smaller um, mascara wand to dispense my product. That's so that, number one, I don't contaminate it. But number two, this is going to pull out a lot less product than a big fat mascara wand like this, right? It's also going to give me a lot of precision inside her brow. And again, do I need to disclose that I like a lot of product on people? I mean, so I like to coat these puppies, man. Like I'm trying to make her look gelled. The higher the brows, the closer to God, right? And when I say God, I mean G-A-W-D. <laughs> the millennial God. Okay. So if you get any smears up through the top, swipe it down with your brush that you use to apply your concealer. It's just the pigment in the henna still on her. And I'm just gonna let what gel is on her dry. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still a good amount in my brush, so I'm just gonna kind of pull that out. Cause girl, that was enough. So if she had hairs that were tucked up, right? I'd be, or rather being brushed up, I might just kind of tuck them to the side a little bit. Again, I'm pretty anti-trimming. Try not to trim if at all possible. And you see how that side has kind of deepened a little bit more? I mean, it is still a little bit lighter than this side, but not by a ton. If I wanted, that's just for the heck of it. You know, the better move would have been to do this before I applied um, the brow gel. But, you know, if my client's laying here comfortable, she's just letting me touch all over her. She's probably not gonna pay two cents to what I'm doing on her right now. I mean, maybe she's like, is she penciling me? I'm gonna tell you something. Nine times out of 10, they're never gonna ask you. Look at that. Now it's pretty much perfect. If this was a brand new client, I'd be um, sending her home with, included in her appointment, either this um, chocolate brow gel, again, this is a Natalia product, or probably um, the clear brow gel. So one would be included in her appointment and the other one she could buy herself if she wanted, but this chocolate is clearly a perfect match for the stain that we've got on her today. All right, that wraps it up. Round of applause for Laura, everybody. Round of applause. All right, adios.